Hi guys, how's it going? It's Alan out for a bit of a miller taking session here in the woods. We've had a bit of a break in the weather before the next snowstorm and it rained for a couple of days so the ground's free of snow and diggable. So let's do it. Um, I'm at a very noisy site. There's a freeway over that way. The, the wind is howling. Who knows what's going to happen? <laughs> tree going to drop on me or something but this is it. We've got to get out here and do it. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Well, I finally found the cellar hole. There it is over there. Boy, it took me ages to find it. Um, I was here before, and you know what? I did a whole video on this place, and I deleted the thing by accident. I'll show you some of them finds maybe now or sometime in the video, but there were some really cool buttons uh, that came from here, and some other artifacts, a coin, a bit of a buckle. But here's my first target anyway, from this hole. Looks like a button. I'm hoping it's a tomback because Tombax was stunning from here. Uh, it's just a regular copper button. Just a little little tiny cuff button or something, yep. Alright. First signal of the day. Okay guys, here are the finds from the previous trip to the cellar hole. I lost the footage on that, unfortunately, as I said. But uh, bear with me here. I'm inside, it's night time, and uh, the lighting's pretty poor in here. So we'll try our best. Uh, if you just look on the top row there, you'll see a couple of buckle parts. Uh, nice looking bits. I wish they were all together and complete, but uh, that's the way it goes. They're two different buckles these parts come from. Uh, next to there, you've got a, a wheat scent. A uh, hunter probably dropped that back in the day. And next to that, you've got a colonial copper coin. Uh, I don't know what kind it is. Probably Connecticut copper or something like that. It's uh, the thinness is about right. Uh, the middle row, you've got some buttons there. Uh, some of the regular sort of colonial era bu buttons that you find. The one on the far left is like a, a convex or a dome type. And on the far right, you've got what I think might be a piece of uh, furniture off a gun. Uh, gun furniture, they call that. It's like a brass type, mat type material. And on the bottom there, you've got some tombag type buttons. They're, uh, yeah, they came from the ground. You're saying to yourselves, they're way, they're way too clean to come from the ground, but if you look to the right, you'll see a little quarter of a tomback, which by the way, it almost gave me a heart attack because I thought it was a cut quarter Spanish coin. I look in the center of that, and then you'll see a shiny bit. Well, underneath the grime and the dirt, you get the shininess. And uh, I have a certain way to clean these up, and I'll share them with you in a, a future video, or maybe even this video, but we'll see how we go with that. But yeah, some nice finds. A good site, a very old site. All right, back to the video. Typically, I don't show these in my videos because I do dig a lot of them, but I'll keep, sometimes I keep these. They're, it's a square nail, quite an old one. I think they call it a rose head on top there. But uh, I'll electrolyze this and clean her up, put it in the, in the collection, it's pretty cool. And for your consideration, another button right here. It's looking nice and early. Yep. Oh yeah. See if there's any on it. It's plain. No, just another plain little cuff button made of brass, copper, something like that. 1700s, definitely. Second half, I think. Well, this is the uh, part of the video where uh, I lose half my viewers probably because um, <laughs> down in here I have a target and it is, yep, you guessed it, it's a button. But it's kind of cool, look at, look at how it sat. I don't know how that happened, maybe I pushed it back with the spade on my hand, but there it is down in there. And I'm hoping, it looks like a tomback button, so slightly different to the other ones. And they're really cool from this site. I don't know what the ground does to preserve these things, but let's get it out. Yep. Look at that. Look how shiny that is. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> thought something was creeping up on me. Uh, look how shiny that is. Let me give it a trouser up just to demonstrate. Look at that. It's got a new button. Some scratches on it from when the guy wore it. Nothing on it, I think, but uh, cool. 
That's really neat. You what? I don't want to hit it. I know. Round frozen on one side. This is the Silver Hunters Mystery Man. Digging with us. CTX 3030. We've got what probably the best signal of the morning. Oh, that sounds sweet. And on my Equinox, it came up as a 26. Where are you? Because that was a great coin signal. There it is. It's not deep. Yeah, it's underneath the roots. Better be that coin you owe me. <laughs> it's literally right underneath the root. Always the way it is. Hey, I dug 40 minutes for, for a large scent under a root. Oh, oh. you see it? Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. It's a copper! <laughs> All right, dude. Well done. <sighs> Can't even. Let's see in the light. Expose it. Left facing head. Ah, uh, yeah. There's a 27, 18, or 17. I can't. Is that a eight, large scent? 18, 27. Are you kidding? Oh my goodness. Yep, it's just a large scent. <laughs> Still, congratulations. So Kyle has walked no more than what? Let's see, that's where he found his large scent. That's where he got another awesome signal. Even better than the large scent. Look at these, uh, look at these frost plugs. <laughs> frost plugs, we call them. 30 degrees out here. And Kyle has found, I'm gonna say silver, dude. I don't know. Moved it. Oh, oh, look at the size of that. What the hell is that? That's a fatty. That could be a Canadian, right? I don't know. Oh my God, what is that? That is thick. Let me have a look at it. No, it's just a large scent. It's a large scent, it's just another one. good condition. Oh my god, it's, you, <laughs> you got a spill. That's two coins in a row. Oh look, at, that's going to clean up nice. Well done, well done. Alright. Well this, uh, this is the tiniest button in the world competition right here. Look at this. Can you see that? I've just put it next to my pinpointer for scale. It's just at the nose. It's right there. <laughs> Look at the size of this little button. It is tiny. It's a tiny little one-piece button. I'll get it cleaned up and uh, I'll let you have a look at it cleaned. So here it is. That little tiny button. It's a one-piece convex. There's the shank. You can see him. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That belonged to somebody in the 1700s. Well guys, that's it for today. Uh, slim day as far as finds go. But sure, I was out and about enjoying myself in the middle of winter. So that's good. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, throw me a like, and all that good stuff. Oh, and ring that bell if you can. Alright guys, thank you. Bye.